Are you excited for tomorrow? Is tomorrow Saturday? No, it's the first day of school. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to that. But it's mandatory. Ooh. Yeah. Elizabeth, you shouldn't be teaching. I mean, I can't think of anyone less suited to being a teacher. I don't need a blackboard or a classroom to set an example. So stupid. Morons! Hey, Elizabeth, you know, like, grab a bite sometime? You still a gym teacher? I am, yeah. Then no. Okay, cool. Well, awesome. This one great. All right. Can you talk about finding this character and where, how you found her voice? It's so kind of neurotic and unique. It is. Well, I worked on, I, I worked with a dialect coach to, to get the, um, Midwestern accent and then you know to me I love that accent and it's sort of very sweet and charming um, so I added a sort of slightly nasal twang to um, because she's meant to be very annoying and irritating so um, the voice I, I, I did I did some work on to, to yeah, get the right sound and, and what, what was your opinion of her when you read her character is she misunderstood or is she really just a little out of her mind She's both. I think she means well and she has a good heart, but she's very, very annoying and she's very, very um, deluded and, and slightly crazy. I was definitely encouraged to be as annoying and irritating as possible, so you're rooting against her, so you're, you know, you're rooting for Cameron to, to, to bring her down. From now on, my full-time job is finding a guy who's going to take care of me. Hi there. Scott Delacourt. Elizabeth Halsey. I'm the new sub. How the watch? Is that a Jaeger Lecoutre? The family business. I love how his eyes sparkle when he smiles. I'm going to sit on his Hey, guys. Hey. So did you and your wife just move to town? I'm not married. I actually just got out of a relationship. She has such a big heart. Enormous. If I got a new pair of boobs, he'd be all over me. But they're really expensive, you know? Yeah, and you gotta get two of them. Who knows? Maybe you'll win the bonus. Oh, damn it! What bonus? For the state test. Whichever teacher has the highest scoring class gets a bonus. And let's, uh, let's talk about some of the improvisation that went on on set, because one of my favorite moments in the movie is when you sit in the urinal. Yes. Because I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's out there. Where did that come from in your head? That, it was just there, and I was sort of wandering around, and I sort of I was leaning on the urinal, and then I was had my foot up on it, and it was sort of getting a laugh while we were rehearsing, and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a seat. Uh, she's so I think the character at that point is in such a mission, she's not paying attention where she is. It doesn't even occur to her that she's sitting somewhere that perhaps a little unsavory. It's so out there, it's very obviously not making a comment on the, you know, American educational system. I, you know, it doesn't take a very strong point of view on, you know, breast augmentation either. Um, you know, thank mercifully, you know, the one, you know, redeeming factor is that, you know, Cameron at the end of the movie doesn't get the boob job. Things are about to change around here. Recess is over. We're having our car wash this weekend. Last year's car wash raised $6,000. Let's do this. Whoa. Lauren Rissman's dad called. He said we should have a car wash every weekend. That's bonkers! There is no way that LeBron will ever be Jordan. Call me when LeBron has six championships. That's your own it's the only argument I need, Sean! Now who has the answer to my question? You, Chubbs. He's, um... Eh. Whoa, wait! Twilight, what do we talk about in class? Don't throw at her, throw through her. Hit her, hit my yearbook. Hold my balls. Yeah, it's just, you know, pure entertainment and, um, you know, about making people laugh.